Hello and welcome to this School Games website tutorial video, which you can always find by typing in www.yourschoolgames.com into your internet browser or by searching Your School Games. We have loads of great stuff for you to check out on our front facing website, as well as our password protected content specific to your username. Let's start here on the home page where you'll see we have links to all of the key content on the website, ready to help you navigate to the information that you need to find. We also have our school search box, which you can use to check whether any school in the country is signed up to the school games. There are helpful search functions here to help you find the right school, and you'll see that if they're not signed up, then the option to register them will be available. Back on the home page, we have our School of the Month, which is a competition rewarding our most active blogging schools, as well as a selection of fun and interesting news stories for you to take a look at during any spare time you might have. Much of the website is very simple, as you will see from the simple navigation bar at the top of the home page. I'll give you a quick run through of what's in each section now. In About the Games, we have all of the key information about how the school games works and operates. This is the perfect place for schools looking to find out more about the games and for any school games organisers looking to tune up on their knowledge. You'll see on the left hand side that we have a list of options available to you including an explanation of the four distinctive competition levels that make up the school games key information regarding our efforts to make school sport more inclusive, case studies, FAQs, and a list of our partners, including the Youth Sport Trust and Sport England. In your school, we have a list of all of the different ways a school can interact with the school games, including all of your key deadline dates, support documents, and tips on how to earn a star prize for your school. You can use this section to learn more about the School Games Mark Award, the Reward and Recognition Scheme, and the Inclusive Health Check, and you'll often find that there are lots of great little videos such as this one to help grow your knowledge of how we work. In Sports, you'll find some of our best resources. In here we have all of the sports formats across levels 1 to 3 of the School Games, that's covering almost 40 different sports, helping you write lesson plans and apply for the school games mark. There are also specific inclusive sports formats so that you can ensure that all children get a chance to shine. And finally, in What's On, we have a list of all of the events being created by our users. You will spot the filters on the right hand side that will help you pinpoint a specific event and find out what's happening in your local area. This then is the school dashboard, an area that all registered schools will have access to. It's an area that is completely unique to each school and you are free to make it your own as much as you wish. So let's start with the key components. In the top left hand corner, you will see three orange buttons. View page will allow you to see your dashboard as others will see it. Edit page will allow you to edit what others see and customize certain elements about how your page is presented while edit account allows you to change your key details linked to the account such as usernames, passwords, email addresses and your level one school games day. If you ever lose the username and password you require to log in, please contact your SGO as they will be able to send you your details again. Failing that, please do contact us via info at yourschoolgames.com. To the right of this, you have the bulletin board and this is where you will receive your most up-to-date information from the School Games team and our partners rather than having to wait for the monthly newsletter. Below this, you will see the Inclusive Health Check, a self-review tool which has recently been refreshed for the 2016-17 academic year, 
and the School Games Mark Portal, which will reopen for applications in mid-2017. Elsewhere you have your events section, and this is a list of events that you have created and is not to be confused with your competition calendar section. This is the place to tell us, and your SGO, about all of the intra-school competitions you have been participating in and to show off just how active you have been keeping. The competition calendar is sent through to your account by your SGO. Here you will see a list of all of the upcoming Level 2 or inter-school events, which you could request to be a part of, should you not have already been invited. You can find out more about any event by clicking on it from within one of our six termly calendars. At the bottom of the page we have blog posts and this is your opportunity to share what you as a school have been getting up to and to tell us about what you've learned from those experiences. You can share your blogs with others, post them on social media and enter them to win prizes in the reward and recognition scheme. The final button is the school resources section. This will take you to a portal specific to school users where a wide range of additional materials are available. Here you can find written guidance documents, certificate templates, branding guidance, case studies and much, much more. You can even catch up on past copies of the School Games newsletter should you have missed any of them. And that's really all there is to it. The rest is for you to explore. We hope you found this short tutorial useful and that you will enjoy using the School Games website moving forward. Thank you and goodbye.